everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new wrestling action figure news, and it's specifically on the AEW side of things. All elite wrestling action figure news coming at us that I'm really, really excited to get in with you guys because we finally have a look at a figure that I have been waiting on forever. It seems like that I have made a couple customs about. I've, I've been waiting on it and waiting on it, and we finally have an image of what we are finally going to be getting out of series number five, which is the series we're going to be covering covering here today guys AEW Unrivaled Collection series number five you guys know we just recovered or, or recovered what the hell am I saying we just reviewed series number four on the channel if you guys missed that but series five we have some leaked images or some just straight up images of the official wave number five now we don't have every figure in the set but we do have four out of the seven total figures or is there eight there's usually eight right if you count the two chase variants we have half the set then so let's just not waste any more time guys let's go ahead and start off with figure number one and I'm gonna dive straight into Luchasaurus. Now, these images do come to us from Hao Shen Yu on Instagram. I think that's how you pronounce it. But he posted up these images here, guys, and you will see what is to be believed. Unrivaled Collection Series Number 5, Luchasaurus. And what's just crazy is this looks like the custom that I have made. You know, the, the custom that me and BEW did together. It looks very, very similar to that. Head sculpt with the tongue out, long beard, mask looks the same, hair goes the same. This looks incredible. I'm so excited for this figure, man. I mean, I can't even put into words how excited I am. And that just speaks to the talent of BEW about how talented he is to make our customs look identical to what we're going to be getting from the official company. I mean, that's outstanding. But this Luchasaurus is just unreal. The only thing that I'm really noticing about it that may be missing is stomach and chest hair, which really isn't the biggest deal. You can easily add that with a pencil, or maybe I can make a video on how to make chest hair for figures. Very simple. With a, with a pencil, you go in there, you put some Mod Podge on it, it'll fix it right up. It'll look really, really good. But even if you don't include the chest and stomach hair, the tattoos look wonderful. The torso choice looks to be, I think this is a new torso choice. I could be wrong about that, but it is looking pretty new to me. All of the tattoos look really, really good. Waist wrap looks good. I think all of the gold, the green, he's even got the paint on the fingertips over there. Head sculpt looks good. I saw a lot of people saying that they hope that it comes with two different head sculpts so that we can have a, you know, a mouth closed version and a mouth open version. I don't know how, how realistic that is. I guess we'll just have to see about that because he's got a lot of tattoo decals. He's got, you know, a very incredible sculpt going on. I mean, who knows? Who knows if we're going to end up getting that? But the Luchasaurus looks so damn good, man. I'm so excited to get this figure in. I'm going to have to grab a couple of these at least. I did put in my pre-order, guys. If you guys missed out on your pre-order, this is your time. Go put your pre-order in. Use promo code MDTOYS. I think they're up to pre-order number three. You definitely want to get this in before that pre-order creeps up into fours and fives and sixes. And I think even the Kenny Omega from Series 4 got into like the 7-8 territory, which is absolutely insane. But this looks really good. I love the scales on the tights. Everything about this Lucha Source is what we want. The only thing that could potentially put a harping on this figure is going to be the boot rotation. Hopefully the top of those kick pads has boot rotation and I'm just going to pray that that is what we get here. But Luchasaurus looks absolutely fantastic and I cannot wait to get him in the hand. But you cannot have Luchasaurus without his tag team partner which would be Jungle Boy. Now this Jungle Boy to me looks incredible. Now I've seen a ton of hate for this figure for some reason. I've seen a lot of people getting on here crapping on it and I can see to a degree your problems with the figure. The first thing that you're going to see, guys, is going to be the gigantic hands. Now, his hands are massive. It looks like they legit gave him the Kawhi Leonard ricochet entrance hands that we come to know from Mattel, but that's not the biggest deal. You could easily switch his hands out, you know? I'm sure he'll come with interchangeable hands, first of all. Second of all, you could always use other hands that we've gotten with AEW figures, and if that's not the case, I think Mattel hands, if you shave those down and you, like, edit the hands just a little, you can make them interchangeable with AEW. AEW figures. I've never done it personally, but I've seen a lot of people do that before, so that could be a thing that you wanted to do as well. Another thing that you may notice is that the torso and the lower torso are different colors. Now, if you watch the reviews, you will know that that is pretty common among the AEW figures. It looks like the top torso and the bottom torso are two different colors on camera. Usually it's on camera that that is apparent, but then when you get it in person, it doesn't look that way. I'm not exactly sure why that is, and that can be bothersome for some stop motion artists, some figure photographers, things of that nature that could put some hindrance. I mean, you could obviously Photoshop it, but if you're doing a pick fed match, you're not going to sit there and Photoshop every single match or every single photo in a match. That would be awful. That would be terrible. And I'd probably want to eat my eyes like scrambled eggs again. Now we don't want that at all. So hopefully that is just, you know, this could also be a prototype 
this may not be the final thing this may be an earlier version of the figure and they hadn't fixed that quite yet we'll just have to see hopefully not every jungle boy looks like that or something like that but a lot of people also were saying that this figure looks plain jane i don't know what you were expecting brad it's jungle boy i mean what like did, does he come out in some circus ass attire that i don't know about and this is like the boring version of jungle boy every time i've seen jungle boy on the television this is what he looks like the knee pads, the boots, the the wrist gauntlets, the tights, the head scar. This is Jungle Boy. I what did you what did you want? What did you want? This looks just like him. If I were to envision a perfect Jungle Boy figure, this is the image that I get. So I don't know. That's just me. I just I, I've seen like 25. I saw a lot of people shitting on this figure, and I had no idea what they were talking about. Besides the two tone torso or the massive hands, which are both probable fixes. Like they're gonna be fixed more than likely, and if they're not, they're easy to fix ourselves. We will solve the issue. Another thing that could possibly be a thing is it looks like they use the Orange Cassidy and Darby Allen torso, which you could also switch on there if it's the biggest deal in the universe. You could. Probably Probably pop off the Jungle Boy head off of one of your Orange Cassidy Darby Allens. You could acetone the tattoo off the chest of the Darby Allen. You could, there's ways around it, man. There's ways around it. I think this figure looks absolutely fantastic, especially the head sculpt. I think the head sculpt is phenomenal. I can't wait to see what accessories he and Luchasaurus are going to come with. And I just had to get that out of the way. Now we're moving into one of the stars of the set. Even though we just got through with two of the stars of the set. We're getting into the other stars, guys. We have John Moxley. We have not only the regular version, but the Chase variant version. Now, one thing that's going to pain me in the face is going to be that the Chase variant version is better than the regular version. Now, that does bother me. I'd like for the Chase variant not to be as good so that, you know, a lot of people can get their hands on the regular version. But you guys know that starting with Series 5, I don't remember if it was starting with Series 5 or after Series 5 where they were going to start making 3 and 5,000 of the Chase variant instead of 500 and 1,000. But the regular version of John Moxley is going to be in this, like, Dudley Boys yellow, black, and white, and green gray gear which looks really sick i actually like this attire a lot he comes with the aew championship you have the same entrance vest and the head sculpt is slightly different it's kind of like a talking expression a little bit and i mean i think it looks good one thing you'll also notice is he has two tattoos i don't know where that came from he has the same tattoo on both forearms i don't think that's true i don't think that's accurate but they did fix the placement on his series two figure the the tattoo was slightly off centered so it looks like they did fix that but they added two tattoos I think it'd be easy to acetone the right one off or the one that doesn't belong. But that is definitely something to mention here. But I think this attire is really cool. I don't think they fixed the height either, which is another whole deal in itself so that'll be whatever but i don't know that may that may be something that we just have to get you know build a bridge and get over or maybe they're gonna fix it we'll have to see about that but the chase variant version is super badass man look at this chase variant version the tights on this or the pants on this are super badass man the army greens with the black and the brown look so damn sick he comes with a paradigm shift t-shirt he also has his entrance vest like mox wears and then we also have a yelling screaming expression with the eye patch over the head there and that looks so damn good man again you can see the double tattoos there they did fix the placement and the size and everything like that though and ah god man i wish this was the regular version while the yellow tights or the yellow pants the yellow camo pants are badass this right here is better than the regular version so i would have wished that this could have been the regular version hopefully i can get my hands on this because i would love to have a mox yelling expression especially with the with the eye patch and the paradigm shift shirt because if i find this you're not gonna take it out of the packaging at least i'm not unless i got two of the chase variant which who the like it's 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 a damn it's a damn lotto ticket if you find one chase variant let it alone two if you find two chase variants brad just go ahead and apply for the damn state lottery so that you can go win with all your luck that you're having right there but i love both of these moxes i think they look great i love lucha source and jungle boy they both look great and i also apologize if the images aren't the clearest i did my best like my phone's being my phone is just being a piece of shit this morning and it's like not sending things and it's being and really really stupid so i apologize for that but anyways guys i would love to know what your thoughts are on this full set and i can't do a random shout out today because my phone is being stupid i can't get a screenshot of the thing over to myself and it'd be like a whole process let me let me try here so for today's random shout out guys it is gonna go to tiny turd who says we should get an ultimate edition Rey mysterio undertaker aj styles etc and this is what i've been saying man we need more current talent roman reigns Rey mysterio undertaker randy orton aj AJ Styles, 
Seth Rollins, so many damn guys that can make Ultimate Editions of, yet we get two Warriors, two Hulk Hogan's, two HBK's, two Triple H's, you know the Macho Man's coming down the road. I mean, I don't know what to say about this, Brad. We need more Ultimate Editions of guys that have not gotten Ultimate Editions just yet. I think these guys would sell, no doubt about it. I don't think any, especially if you load it up with good accessories, you give it a great attire, they will sell. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. I want to know what you think of AEW and Rival Collection Series number 5 images. Hopefully we get more images of the wave. Oh yeah, I also forgot to mention, it appears that the new Rock Ultimate Edition figure is going to be the WWE Champion version. So it's going to be the Spinner title belt version of The Rock. How god awful is that? Another Rock Ultimate Edition. I think it's Ultimate Edition Series 10. We're getting The Rock and John Cena and it's going to be WWE Championship Spinner Rock and a 2006 John Cena. Now, the John Cena is badass, and I'll take all the John Cenas. I know I said don't make two of the same guy, but you know what, Brad? I can make exceptions for John Cena. Now, if you're going to make us a Rock Ultimate Edition yet again, I don't think I would have picked this. I don't think I would have picked this. I would have liked to have seen some different versions. It'll probably come with the Spinner title and the 2013 version of the WWE Championship, which could potentially save it depending on the accessories. I bet they give him some butterfly joints. This may end up being the best Rock figure ever made if they play play their cards right especially if they give him like you know a new torso with butterfly joints and stuff like that we'll have to see nonetheless that is all the news that i have for you guys let me know what you think of the ultimate edition rock and aew series number five i can't believe i almost forgot about that news but i'm getting the hell out of here guys thank you for watching subscribe to the channel and don't cross the line you cross the line i've been beaten broken down inside i've been calling the law when nobody